Today, we're going to look at how to create a responsive grid system in Figma. This will help you achieve a perfect alignment in your next design. So we're going to go through the eight point grid system. If you watch this video to the end, I'll show you everything right in Figma. Let's look at what layout is generally. Layout refers to how all the visual elements on a web page are arranged. It is easier to determine the relationship between them for better user experience. So in design, the layout determines which elements of a page receive the most attention as well as the overall visual balance of the page. An effective page layout can direct users' attention in the right direction, attracting them to the most important element then the other elements all in the order of importance so it is important for you to use layout grids in design for so many reasons one consistency two alignment three efficiency four responsive design five hierarchy and six scannability so overall using a layout grid in ui design promotes clarity organization and efficiency ultimately leading to a better user experience so grid system are the best way to achieve good page layouts the grid is like the skeleton of the design through which we can make guided guided design decisions and create a better experience for users so let me show you how to use a grid system let's get right into it all right just to re-emphasize more on the importance of using a layout grid in your design right check out these two rooms here this room on the left hand side is well neatly organized everything has a space where it fits in and there's some form of alignment you can see this one here this one here but take a look at the other um, bedroom on the right hand side you can see everything is just very disorganized so if you work with layout grid or layout on your design you get to achieve this neat room Whereas if you don't, you're most likely going to end up with something like this. Let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is to choose our frames. We, we design for desktop, tablet, and mobile. So I'm going to go and click F on my keyboard or A on my keyboard. If you check your right hand side, this properties panel, you're going to see we have different frames, mobile, tablet, desktop, and all that. I'm going to click down for desktop. Just click F on your keyboard, select the drop down for desktop and then select desktop right so for the second one that's my tablet i'm just clicked on this frame here go back to my tablet i'm going to choose this ipad mini 8.3 right and for my mobile i've just hit f on my keyboard go to my mobile click the drop down i'm going to select this 13 and 14 right so i like working with that we're going to be giving our frames both columns and rows for the grid that is we're going to give it a horizontal and a vertical grid just to keep our spacing consistent in both ways okay so let's go ahead and give our give the desktop its layout grid so i'm going to hit the plus sign here and automatically you can see we already have some grids around it right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead click on this layout grid settings here and this dialog box comes up i'm going to click the drop down here and i'm going to change this to column so when working with desktop we work with columns right then but i'm going to change it to the count i'm going to change it to 12. i'm going to change the count to 12. it's advisable to use a um, count 12 for desktop designs right i personally use stretch here so the reason for this leaving my type here as stretch is because it helps to achieve that responsive design right while some might want to go ahead and use maybe a center or maybe use right or right thereabouts where <laughs> i just use a stretch okay so now another thing you should take note of once you put it to stretch at stretch you can only adjust the margins and the gutter so for the margins here margin is a space between this section here let me show you so if i go ahead and make this one a 60 you can see that there's the space here now the space here now is the margin now the gutter now is a space between one column to another column so maybe the space between you want for your items so why we have this here is for instance i want to work with a box right so if i place this one here now ideally the next one if i want to place another one we have a spacing between it we have a spacing between it but 
Um, you know, we want to work with an eight point grid system. That eight point grid system, what I mean is that most of my spacing, my margin, my padding, almost everything I use on my design, right, is going to be divisible by 18. I just want to have some form of consistency across, right? So let's say this the, the margin here is going to be um, a number divisible by 8. The, the gutter here, the spacing between these columns, is going to be a number divisible by 8. Sticking to this kind of rule helps you to achieve consistency. So let's go back to our layout settings here. So I, you remember I left this one at count 12. For the stretch here, I'm going to give it a 32. And for the margin, I can give it as much as a 160. Now the reason for 160, it all depends on the designer somehow, right? Depends on the container size you want to work with and the spacing you want around your container. So if I give it a 160, look what happens now. Now, this container size now is not going to be like this section, this between this column and this column. This is here now. This is my container size. Let me align, align this very well. So this is where I'm going to try to focus my designs on like all my items should ideally fall into this place. Don't think it's 100% compulsory, right? Because I can des decide to make a design, let's say... I have my text here and maybe I have images here and I could decide to use a design style that uh, makes my image to tilt out of the frame. That doesn't mean that it's bad even if it's not within the column, right? However, maybe some other items I have, maybe around this image here, maybe my padding, my corner radius, something has to be, um, I'm sticking to a number that is divisible by 8, alright? So, that's that so again let's go back to explaining what container size is your container now so this now is my container where i'm going to place in my items and if you can see that it is 1 120 which means it's also divisible by an 8 so yeah that's like my own concept like that's what i like working with right so let's go ahead and also give our um desktop another grid but this time around we're going to change it to rows so for this rows here now i'm going to leave it at top the type i'm going to leave it at top and i'm going to give it a count as much as let's say 1000 now the reason for this 1000 that's like how many um rows i have right so if i stretch this now it's still if i increase my frame it's still going to go all the way down all right so i just hit command z to go back to where i was right so for this one now i'm also going to leave the gutter the gutter remember the gutter is the spacing between each item you won't want to have so much spacing between items here so imagine you're working let me close my grid line so you see imagine you're working like this right and maybe there's an item that you don't want that much spacing you can't leave your you can't give that spacing that's a gutter for the rows as much as a 20 let's give it as let's say an eight right just to stick with what we have so you see now if i want to give a spacing between one item and the other i can and i want it to be closed right i can stick to this let's shut this here so you can see right so this kind of spacing system helps us to achieve alignment right so once you have this now and you want to use this grid um, settings going forward all you have to do is to come to this place here this styles and var variables once you click on it, click the plus sign here, create a style. Create a style and we're going to name this web um, layout grid. So anytime you have a frame, let's say I come here, I choose a frame and I go to desktop for status, for instance, I select the desktop and I come to my layout grid here under styles and variable, I'm going to see my layout grid once i click on it automatically it it places it on my desktop all right so that's that for this one let me show you what i use for my um ipad mini so for my ipad mini i use the same setting for my rows here the one i use on my desktop right so i'm going to detach this one for instance and i'm going to place my mouse around this um rows here select it and hit command c or ctrl c and i'm going to select the ipad mini frame and i'm going to say command v just to paste it now i'm going to hit a plot sign here because i want to give it the columns 
the grid for the columns right what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to columns now but i'm going to leave it as eight you know uh, an ipad mini doesn't have so much space right so we have to be we have to try to work within what we have Right, so we're not giving it as much as 12, we're going to give it as much as 8. And for the margin, we're not, imagine we give it as much as 120. So we are, we're now left to work within this small side section here. No, we're going to give it as much as a, let's just give it a 32. All right, so we're good. So for the gutter, let's give it a 16. Remember, every number I use is divisible by a, a, an 8. All right, so I think we're good with this one. Now, again, for my container size, I'm going to show you that it's also in value divisible by eight. So now you can see my, once I, from here to here, you can see that my width for my container size is 680 pixels. All right, so I hope you're getting what, we're do, what I'm doing. Don't worry, if you're not understanding with time, you're going to understand. It's actually very easy you're going to understand with time just follow along with me put the settings on your on your figma save it as a style so going forward you can be using it i'm going to do the same thing for my mobile here i'm going to click on this columns um that i created here no the rows rather i'm going to paste it here all right so i'm going to click the plus sign here and i'm going to change this to columns so guess the number we're going to use here obviously we can use as much as an eight is a mobile phone we need space as much as we can get so i'm going to leave the count at four but for the gutter and the margin can you guess what we're going to use so for the margin let's just use let's say 16. all right so for the gutter let's also use hmm, let's use a 16. So it's recommended that you don't go below 16 for spacing for the gutter right so that's why i stick to 16. and yeah that's like the layout grid that i work in but let me give you let me show you an instance of a design i did using the um this sentence so i want to show you how my items are aligned right in the middle and the number of spacing i have at the margin how it turns out in your design all right so this is it as you can see that i have lots of space and lots of spacing in my margin here right i use a 160 for my margin this the spacing by the side here by the right hand side by the left hand side and you can see most of my items are aligned right in the middle so when you're working like um like this it doesn't necessarily mean that let's say that everything let's okay so let's use this as an example this item that i have here does it mean that i must start at the margin here so that eight point grid system consistency thing that we're looking for you can achieve it let's say in the paddings here the spacing you have um from this item and the um, with the upside with the right hand side maybe i can give the um, vertical padding or horizontal padding an eight or a 16 you know something divisible by eight if i'm using a four point grid system i use something divisible by four right so you could also see the spacing between this item and this item is a number divisible by four by eight sorry so it doesn't mean that you must find or all your item must stick to the border or the margin here where it's your column started right your container no you could achieve that eight point grid system with other things your spacing your margin your, um, your paddings your horizontal vertical bad patterns and also that doesn't mean that you cannot be creative at the same time you can see that this image i have here is also like bulging out from my grid line right but that doesn't mean that it there's no some form of alignment here you can see every other thing this container size is right is a one one twenty which is within my um my grids right so yeah that's basically it you can see every other thing snipes right in between where i want it to be but at the same time i'm still very very artistic or i come up with different concepts while designing so yeah that's that's basically it i hope you understand i see you next tutorial